right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to import your own icon font into KOWP. And you may be thinking, well, I've already done this a while back. And uh, the one I did a while back was this one right here. You still want to go and watch this because I talk about using Ico Moon in more detail. I talk about how to import your own icons to create your own icon font. So make sure you still check that out. But the technique that I use here is going to be totally different. And check this out. If I go to an icon, the font icon in KOWP or KWGT, I'm pretty sure, if I go to the set, these four up here are by default imported or included with KOWP. But notice I have this extra one here, Gears by Craft Math V1. I'm also going to include this uh, for free. I'll show you where to get that uh, in a few minutes. Just hang out. So once you have that, and I'm going to show you how to do all this, once you import it, now you can have access to these icons directly within KOWP. You don't have to memorize any keyboard letters to get to those particular icon fonts. So it works really nice, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But before you do that, make sure, again, you watch this. And then, uh, like I said, I'm going to include the free icon fonts. Uh, the gears are what I did in this tutorial a while back on the geared clock. All these gears are rotating in the background. You're going to get all these icon fonts for free right here in a little while. Just stay tuned. And to get those gears to rotate correctly, make sure you go ahead and watch this KOWP tutorial rotating gears and free stuff. Well, the free stuff you're getting ready to get here is going to be the entire icon font that I created You know, uh, a long time ago. It was a while back when I created it. Probably um, almost two years now when I created this icon font. But nonetheless, I'm going to give you all, I think it's 26 gears, just hang out. So assuming you've watched the Ico Moon video, I'm over here at the Ico Moon place, and what I've done is I've selected eight pieces. Now I'm just going to back out of here, and I'm going to show you I have these eight icons selected, and I'm going to go to Generate Font. So it's going to take me back to this screen, and notice the names of these things. Home, Home 2, Home 3, Office, Pencil 2, Quill, Pen, and Blog. We're going to see those show up in KOWP right here in a minute. Now, you can go ahead and rename uh, this font if you want to. So underneath Preferences, I'm going to name it KLWP Sample Icon Font. And what we're going to do is we're going to download this. Now, what that will do is it's going to download a zip file. So I'm just going to double-click that zip file. Inside of this folder, we want to get two pieces, and we want to put these on our device. The two pieces that we want are the .ttf, and notice this KLWP sample icon font .ttf. So I'm just going to uh, copy that name, KLWP sample icon font, not the .ttf. And then you want to go back to this selection.json, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that same name for our .ttf file is right here as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is 100% needed, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we have, again, two files that we want, the KOWP sample icon font .ttf and then this renamed .json file. You'll get both of these in this folder, which you unzip after you download it from Ico Moon. So let's take these two files and let's copy them onto our device. So wherever your two files get transferred to, I just use Visor and I just drag them right over to my phone. I'm just going to take these two files here, the .ttf and the .json. I'm going to move these and I'm going to move them into my custom folder. And then inside of your custom folder, you want to put it in the icons folder. And then you just want to click done or however you paste them in there. So now we have a .ttf and a .json file where these two have the same name. Okay. And now we can go back into KOWP and these should be showing up. So I'm back inside of KOWP and this is a font icon, that one from that gears I showed you a moment ago. I'm just going to go and add another icon font. And let's see if that set is loaded. So I'm going to click on set. And now we have... Uh, this KOWP sample icon font. Now here, I don't know why this maybe is an error with the JSON file, and I actually noticed that over here too is kind of repeating some of the icons. But if we click on this, we will actually have, if you go to your icons, we have those same eight pieces with these same eight names over here. So notice they, those are showing up quite nicely, and boom, there we have it. So if you want the gears, Again, to get you started with the gears, make sure you watch this video here where I talk about the little bit of math that's needed to get these gears to rotate correctly and actually make it look like the teeth are touching. Um, in any of my videos, if you go to the description and look for the KOWP free stuff, and it'll take you to this folder here, and then inside of here, go to Show Icon Fonts in KOWP, 
and there's those two files that you need to put into your icon folder, the .ttf and the .json file. Copy those over into the icon folders, and then what you should see is that set should pop up inside of KOWP. And there you have it. That's how you can create an icon font and also have it show up inside of KOWP so you can quickly access those font icons. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.